I got a request on how to play and or beat Belfamon. So here it is. Let's go over the deck real quick. And the whole gimmick of the Belfamon is to have sleep uh, rage mode in the trash because then you have the on play and when digivolving from this Belfamon by placing one Belfamon rage mode from your trash as this Digimon's top Digivolution card until the end of your opponent's turn. This Digimon can't attack and isn't affected by your opponent's effects. Keep in mind it says buy. If a card ever says buy, it's optional. So in this case, I think that they would actually be able to attack if they actually don't go through the on player when digivolving. Anyway, that's a whole separate thing. And then, of course, the sleep mode also negates an opponent's attack or attacks, but it's only once per turn. They have to trash two cards from their hand and then end the attack. So this is the whole kind of big thing of Belfamon and what makes it hard to go uh, to run over it because your effects don't affect it. And then if it's a Digimon that has higher DP, it's just going to negate the attack. And all it's trying to do is just tuck in this rage mode under itself. So then that way at the, the inherit of rage mode kicks in end of your opponent's turn. If this Digimon has both them on sleep mode, trash the top card of this Digimon. So now the sleep mode gets trashed and now you have a rage mode before your turn even starts. Then start of your main phase, you get to delete all your opponent's level 5 or lower Digimon. Then if you have 6 inferior cards in your hand, this Digimon gets 3000 DP and security attack plus 1. So now you're swinging for 17,000 security attack plus 1. And now potentially deleting all the blockers, all the floodgate cards that are messing with you. And it's it's dumb. Belfamon did top. I did actually get a chance to interview a regionals champion that won the Belfamon last year. I do have that video somewhere if you guys want a more in-depth deck profile from someone who actually knows what they're doing with the Belfamon. I'm just speaking from experience, going against it. And um, end of attack here once per turn by deleting one of your other Digimon, unsuspend this Digimon, so you have the chance to kind of OTK your opponent. The whole kind of thing is you do want to chip, especially with these uh, Proto Gizmons and the, uh, well, the Gizmons in general. All right, so the... The Gizmons, usually you have on play and then they have on deletion. They're able to spit out other Gizmons and or, you know, tuck things underneath. On play, you get to draw one. Uh, Floodgate, good one is uh, Gazimon against it. Not against it, that they use in the Belfamon. Gazimon and the Psychmon, since you're not really reducing, you're just either dropping or tucking stuff from effects. And again, I'm not going to go through these that much, but the Astamon here, though, on play and when digivolving by deleting one of your other purple Digimon, this Digimon may digivolve into a Digimon card with Belfamon in its name in your hand without paying the cost. Um, so you do need a sleep mode in your hand other than your than your trash, the rage mode you need in your trash. So one way to get around it is just making sure their sleep modes are in the trash. Um, so the Belfamon, I mean the Belfamon, the Astamon just helps you get into the Usually, a good thing with Astamon is if there's, they don't really care if they drop sometimes for play cost of seven because then they're just going to go into the sleep mode for free, right? But as long as they meet their requirements, they get to Digivolve for free. And now they play the Belfamon, tuck in the sleep, uh, rage mode under the sleep mode, and now they can negate um, an attack and they're not affected by effects. So oh, it's hard to swing over it, and then you have your Rage Mode by the end of that turn. Uh, Nidhogg is a good one for that deck, just to give itself more memory, and also just, you know, it's part of the trashing. Uh, removal, you have you do have Gift of Darkness in the Belfamon deck. Main effect, to leave one of your opponent's level 6 or higher Digimon. Then one of your Digimon may Digivolve into Belfamon Sleep Mode from your trash without paying the cost. So I lied, here's the way around having all the Sleep Modes in your trash. By playing Gift of Darkness. Security effect by, by trashing one Digimon card in your hand. Delete one of your opponent's Digimon with level less than or equal to the trashed card. Downside of this card is that you can't delete five or lower. I, that's not why you're playing it anyway. You're playing it more to Digivolve into the sleep mode from your trash. Which is actually pretty nuts. I, usually I think, I think you would see three or four of these. And then the Akiro. Akiro. Uh, Karada. Uh, when a card with Belfamon in its name would be played by deleting one Digimon with Gizmon in its name, reduce the play cost. Reduce the play cost by the play cost of the deleted Digimon. So 
there you go that's another way around you know if you have one you can reduce it by six so a card that you could use against belfamont is reducing uh play cost there you go. The end of turn here, end of opponent's turn once per turn. Draw one, then trash one card. Then by placing this Tamer as a bottom Digivolution card, one of your Digimon will buff mine in its name. Delete one of your opponent's level 6 Digimon. So there's more removal right there. So I think with Belfamon, you kind of, you need a little setup, right? You need the Rage Mode and the Trash. Therefore, now you can do the whole thing with the Sleep Mode and then go into it and get that Security Attack Plus and then pop other digimon so the gizmon work really well with the rage mon because they all have on deletion which is what you want to trigger from the end of attack of belfamon so in a nutshell that is what belfamon does that is what makes belfamon good and now let's get into how to play against it i still have these three from the other videos Pamamon, gatsumon and pillowmon because you do play them by effects right the gizmon you can stop all the gizmons um if you're doing the playing by effects, where is it? There is a... Duh, 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 duh. By returning two cards with Gizmon in their names from your trash, at the bottom of the deck in any order, you may play one Gizmon AT. So you do end up playing Gizmons from uh, effects. So not not anything crazy. And then the... I think I did talk about... Uh, this. So Psychmons could also be good against it since you can reduce play cost, although they're not, they don't do that that much. I mean, they could just drop the Astamon and then next turn you'll get popped anyway. Now, Raid Mechanic does really well against Belfamon. However, it can stop the attack, but Wargreymon here is a probably one of the best decks to go and use against Belfamon because it unsuspends itself when the target is switched. So if you end up using Raid, swing into the Belfamon, even if Rage Mode is out there and it still has that protection somehow, but go right into it, they're going to stop it. They have to trash two cards, which is good on their end because another thing with the Belfamon is they have to have six cards or less in order for them to get that DP and get that security attack plus. Although I only think it they only get that during their turn anyway uh yeah for the turn so after that it goes back to 14 which is nice because then when you digivolve into that war Greymon, you get that 3000 dp making you 15,000 and reboot anyway you get raid swing over the belfamon belfamon uses his effect to end your attack you unsuspend first because you ended up redirecting and now you get to swing again to the belfamon and deleting it now one way around the war Greymon is if they have a blocker so now they can Block and negate an attack. Aside from that, War Greymon is a good deck to use against. This Black War Greymon just helps you pop up, pop the Karatas, uh, the Gizmons, although it kind of sucks because then if they get deleted, it triggers their on deletion. But then sometimes you rather you delete them than the Belfamon Rage Mode delete them and unsuspend and swing at you again with security attack plus one. Uh, you are able to redirect with the War Greymon. You are able to increase your DP. So there's that. It's it's not as good as the War Greymon itself. Mirage Galgamon can be a 50-50 against it. Reason I say that is because you bounce. So you being able to bounce their other Digimon with the Rage Mode, they're not gonna have a target to delete to delete and unsuspend and then swing at you again. And they have a lot of effects that draw one. Draw one, then trash one. Bascomon, draw one, then trash one. So that's going to trigger this Mirage Galgamon all the time. And it's all turns once per turn when an effect add, adds cards to your opponent's hand. Gain one memory for every four cards in your opponent's hand. Now, for the most part, their their hand is going to be quite limited. But the Mirage Galgamon deck does a good job at, you know, you have the Galmons that when you attack, you get to uh, both draw a card or you play, you both draw a card. So there's ways to add cards to your opponent's uh, hand, which is good because now you're going to keep them over that threshold of six cards. And uh, the Mirage Galgamon here, just more of a has evade. Belfamon can get rid of things, but with evade, it's kind of a good mechanic to have against it because they can only do it once. The Karat is only once if they tug it underneath. The Gift of Darkness is only once. They'll play it once. 
So that's also a good way. And then when, a, when an effect adds cards to your opponent's hand, you may play a Thomas. So now you can end up bursting into the Mirage Galgamon burst mode and just go to town. You'd be able to you'd be able to bounce the Digimon and now you can just OTK it. Metal Garumon, uh in general, just because it is a very OTK deck, but in the sense of you can attack, unsuspend, attack, unsuspend, and attack. So those decks do really well against the Belfamon as well because they can only negate one attack. So, you know, for example, the Red Hybrid isn't... It can be good because it's fast. So if they don't have the requirements to, you know, not be affected by your effects and or negate an attack, then Red Hybrid could be good against it. However, Red Hybrid is more of a... You know, go into the Emperor Greymon. When did you evolving delete your opponent's, you know, one of your opponent's uh, Digimon that has the same DP? There, therefore, Belfamon would protect itself, and then when it when Emperor Greymon swings with security attack plus three, four, five, they can negate the attack, and then after that, your Emperor Greymon is just like there. <laughs> so that is why I didn't put uh, Red Hybrid on this list. It, yeah. So the Metal Garumon is better in that in that sense where you're able to swing and then unsuspend. Um, a lot of times i forgot to talk about the andromon here the andromon so another way around the belfamon is dp reduction and i think this is going to be a mechanic to use against the magnamon x and bt16 there's a trick here though it has to say until the end of their turn because since they're not affected by effects if you play a waverance breath they're not affected by it and that's only for that turn the turn ends their dp goes back to normal and their protection is over, but now they don't have uh, zero DP, so they don't get deleted. So the Andromon here could be good against it. So Vaccine could also be good against Belfamon because the Andromon Ace and the Magnamon, Magna, Magna Dramon that came out, have DP reduction until the end of their opponent's turn. So stacking the Andromon with the Magnamon, that's uh, 6,000 and then 9,000. I think that's 15, if I'm not mistaken. So I think Vaccine can be very, very good. I did add Marsmon here because it's similar to the War Greymon where you have Raid and you have Blitz. Uh, you're able to Raid into your opponent's highest uh, DP. In this case, it's going to be the Belfamon. And then once per turn, when one of your Digimon... Where is it? When one of your Digimon attacks target switch, unsuspend the Digimon, and gain one memory for each Red Tamer you have not played. Therefore, you're able to attack twice in that one turn when this Marsmon comes into play. Galamon just Raid. And um, at the same time, you're able to delete that other Digimon that has, you know, 6,000 DP or less. This is probably less favorable against Belfamon because, again, all those Gizmons have on deletion. They just spit out more bodies anyway. And you can only really raid into the Belfamon once. So I just have Gallimon on here because of the raid mechanic to kind of get that point across. Kentaros more of the being able to attack twice is really why i have the kentaros i know you can have the minus dp but here it says for the turn so if belfamon does have that protection you're only gonna give it to them for the turn and like i said before when it's the belfamon's turn again now their dp goes back to normal therefore they won't get deleted which is why i do have the magna on here like i was talking about with the andrew on here on play one Digivolving by trashing the top or bottom card of your security stack, one of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 9,000 DP until the end of their turn, which is awesome. The all turns, not so much, but when a card is removed from your security stack, if you have three or more fewer security cards, you may place one yellow card in the hand from the top or bottom of the security stack. You're doing it more for the on play one Digivolving. Here you go. So, good way to, to run over that Belfamon in one turn. Uh... If it's their turn, right? If, if it's their turn, you blast into the Angel Woman Ace, assuming you don't die. <laughs> but even if you just Digivolve, so you Digivolve and then you trash trash a card from your security stack. Now give that Belfamon minus six thousand, right? So minus six thousand. I think now you are at eight thousand. Uh, if my math is wrong, let me know. But now it's at eight thousand. So you go to the Angel Woman. And now, even if you end your turn passing turn, you just Digivolve into the Magnadramon by trashing top and bottom security card. One of your opponent's Digimon gets to do it every time I record, man. It's like an ambulance just comes. I do live right next to a hospital, so that, that is why I don't live in the hood. 
<laughs> so anyway, so now Andromon Digivolve minus six thousand. We said Magnumon Digivolve. Even if your turn passes, minus nine thousand. You're giving your Digimon minus fifteen thousand DP until the end of their turn. And I think this is going to be the key for Magnumon X, anybody. I am going to make a video on it, but I think this is going to be the key because you're going to give them DP until the end of their turn. So now you're giving Belfamon minus 15,000 for, for the, until the end of their turn, which is when their protection wears off. And bam, your Belfamon is gone. Shine Greymon, DP reduction as well. It is more for the turn, so... What makes Shine Greymon good against the Belfamon is how aggressive it could be, especially seeing what the, you know, I should have add. Really, what I need to add is the other Shine Greymon. So this Shine Greymon. Uh, starting your main phase and when Digivolving to the end of your opponent's turn, one of your markers is also treated as a 3000 DP. Digimon can't Digivolve and gains blocker. So all turns once per turn, when one of your red or yellow Digimon uh tamers become suspended one of your opponents digimon get minus 6000 dp for the turn so really just dp reduction and swinging with the tamers with marcus's in this case is what can potentially make shine greymon good as well crimson blaze uh i guess it could still i don't know why i should have taken it off but it's just good to not play digimon by effects you took anything away from this dp reduction that's it that's really how you get over the Belfamon, and that is how you're going to get over the Magnumon X anybody for BT16, which I will make a video on that. That deck is just dumb. I'll see you guys next time.